today we're gonna face it we are going to build a full survival shelter using only our hands and the material of the land we have around two hours before the sun goes down so let's take massive action so of course the first thing it's all about finding the right place The first thing I'm gonna build a solid pile of debris so it's gonna be soft and a good isolation from the ground. Debris is a word, a very important word because it refers to whatever is on the ground. Already now I'm like maybe half an hour in the forest and I have already tons of mosquito bites. So basically just in underwear in the shelter it's gonna be an interesting experience. Now we need construction, right? The thing is, if the, the log is too rotten, kind of risk that it will break in the night. And this we want to avoid. cut it by the ranger and I'm using that wood now so it's a little bit cheating because we only should use material which is untouched by human machine or tools anyway there is time pressure and we need to keep moving a little quicker took me about an hour to complete the first construction but now the the big part of the work is to collect more debris like as much debris as possible and to put it on the rooftop and the Apache scouts they know that you need at least half a meter a layer of debris in order that it gets waterproof even better a full meter so when there is snow you will still be warm and safe. So now we're gonna collect all around the area. Debris, 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 that's the mantra. One sign that you're doing good is when you look inside and it's just completely pitch black. All right, tribe, we just finished the building process. It took me around two and a half hours. I filled it up with debris. That's the material we're gonna, you know, really snuggle in and stay hopefully warm and dry. I'm a little bit scared of the ticks, the ants, the spiders and the mosquitoes because they are quite everywhere and especially inside. Later we're gonna make a fire here and then we bring some smoke and we try to smoke the whole thing. Maybe that helps that the animal escape. Gonna find out. brought some pieces of the fire into the shelter. I cover it with some leaves. The idea is that this gets so smoky that all the little animals, they are gonna leave my flat. You know, I've been living in the wild for three years. I've been building many shelters like that. But so far, 
I never ever built that shelter full survival and then slept almost naked in it. This is a first time life experience. Buenos dias. Good morning tribe. As you see, I could not do it almost naked. I was in there, tried to relax. I tried to surrender. I tried to breathe and become one with the land. And it worked for a minute. And then it was like, oh, it's itchy here. Oh, mosquito here. Oh, that stick. And I was turning, all the leaves fall from my body. Oh, it's getting cold. Cover me again. Oh, it's uncomfortable turning. It was a never ending story of being really, really uncomfortable. And I thought like maybe there is a chance I can get used to it and just fall asleep. But no, <laughs> I was awake two and a half hours. And then I said like, fuck it, let's get some clothing. So I had this, sh this shirt here. I get shoes and socks and I even put my trousers into that socks so nothing can enter. And then I went in again and oh, I was like, thank you life for that clothing. This little bit of clothing helps so much. I definitely want to bring more debris in, like way more debris. So then if you turn around, you're not always losing the full cover and get awake because you're getting cold. So that's one big learning. See you on the next adventure. Much love.